just yelling out, we want to join there. And it was, it was crazy. I mean, I, they totally got me. I was unexpected. It was unexpected. You know, plus the food was good, too. <laughs> All right. What's it like to have city streets blocked when you're coming down the city street, man? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just a gift from God. You know, a, a lot of guys don't get the opportunity, and uh, it just it makes me want to work hard because now I got I to gotta show these fans what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? It's good right now. I haven't played a game of college yet, so. Absolutely. Once you play college, well, then the expectations change. There's no more just a love affair. Now it's business they want you to produce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, uh, I mean, I have fun with the Twitter, you know, retweeting a lot of stuff, get the fans going. But I know I'm setting myself up, man. I got to perform because when I make that choice, you know, some I'm, I know it's going to be some bad, bad results on Twitter. So, I mean, but I'm just having fun while I can right now. <laughs> Absolutely. And clearly you have been having fun with it, and that's a good thing to see because some kids, you know, it just really becomes a thing that, that weighs them down. It's really nice to see you having fun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so you've also visited Tennessee. You just got back from Big Orange Country. What was that like? Man, it was, it was crazy. Um, I really was wasn't expecting to for me to like Tennessee this much, but I actually, I really like Tennessee. I like the coaching stuff. You know, I, I was in the gym, like, I think it was like both nights. It was from 12 to like 2:30 in the morning. You know, with my brother, my older brother. You know, we that was a great bonding moment for us, and um, I got a lot of work accomplished. Unlike other visits, you know. <laughs> I, I sit back and get fat, but you know, and have fun. But I mean, I still had a lot of fun, and I really see that as a good environment. And uh, I like the coaching staff; they're good guys. They're legit. You know, they're very genuine. So it's just making for a much more difficult decision for you <laughs> than maybe you expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting Tennessee to be this high on my list. So Memphis Madness next Friday, two years in a row. Fire Marshal said, "Hey, look." People, you can't come in. There's too many people in the building. Yeah. We're expecting something similar. What are you expecting with Rick Ross, one of the <laughs> biggest names in hip-hop, coming in here? <laughs> I'm going to try to get a shout-out from Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, you know, um, I expect it to be good. I mean, I'm taking an official visit on that day for a reason because I know I, I've been there for two years. I already know what that day about. It's a big day for, for just Memphis overall. And, I know all the fans going to come out and support. You never know what they might come up with this year. <laughs> you never, ever know. It just keeps topping itself yeah. year after year. And, Jarno, you've lived in Memphis all your life. Uh, you've seen a lot of guys stay home. You've seen a lot of guys leave. What are your thoughts on that subject? Would it be hard to leave? Is it logical to stay home, or is it just another school? Um, it's not just another school. I mean, home is home. Home always it's just, it always, I don't want to say when, but it's always hard to leave. But, you know, it's a business decision, and it's the best choice, the the best fit. So I, I try not to, I try to just view Memphis as just a, another school and take out the home, the home-cooked meals and the the friends late night. You know, I try to take all that out, and, you know, and that, really, that really has opened up a lot of other schools. Uh, Cause right now I'm wide open. If I had to choose today, I, I would. I have a hard. <laughs> I, I'd be stressing out. You know, I get gray hairs in one day because I don't know. But uh, I just keep praying and hopefully God give me the answer to what uh, choice to make. So primarily, what are you looking for in a school? What's it going to take ultimately for someone to get that commitment from Jarnell Stokes? Well, a lot of people say playing time and you know it can be winning coaching staff but really it's just when you take that official visit is, is what you feel in your heart and when you're talking to that coach it's just how y'all bond together and a lot of guys they say they go off of this and that but really their heart has been in that school all the way from the beginning and um I, I haven't had that feeling yet but you know I'm hoping it come you know uh so in other words, it's hard to put words to it, but you'll know it when it happens. Yeah, I, I know when it happens. I've had a, a couple bonding moments with a couple of coaches, and um, I don't want to say no names, right? <laughs> but I, you know, I, I know how it feels somewhat. But I mean, I'm 
I'm getting closer to a decision. I can tell you that because I'm doing my research and my homework on all these schools. So, And I almost forgot, you've also visited Florida. How did that go? I mean, Billy Donovan, um, John Pelfrey, they're, they're great guys. Um, they really know how to coach. They, Billy Donovan have a track record. He get big man to the league. Al Horford, um, Joel Kim Noah, Humphreys. I think there's it another guy. I think I'm David Lee. I think. I'm, about yeah. You have done your homework. <laughs> I definitely done my homework, and they they run an NBA style offense. I like that. And, I mean, it definitely me going on the visit. I I was thinking, okay, maybe Florida, but now I'm, they now they're high on my list. Made the decision just that much harder. <laughs> Well, Jarnell, we do know that in the end you're going to make a good decision. I mean, with schools like you have involved, because UConn and UCLA, UCLA, we haven't mentioned them yet. You're going to try to fit them in. With schools like that, it's almost impossible to make a bad choice. Yes, sir. Um, about UCLA, you know, that's it's far away from home, but it's legit. You know, I see the guys who come in there, I see a great chance to build a 5-5, five five, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's it's a very legit school, the coaching staff. Um, Coach McCray, I, I've been bonding with him since I went to Atlanta Celtics. And Ben Howland, he's a pretty cool guy. And they, they Kevin Love, you know, that's the guy I look up to as far as in the league and went there. So, so we got to show a little love for UConn. Uh, again, <laughs> yeah. a, a school you haven't visited yet. Well, I mean, um, I like UConn. They, they, they're they the national champions, so – that, that speaks for itself. And Coach Calhoun, he's a Hall of Fame coach. Who wouldn't want to play for a coach like that? So, once again, you've got a very difficult decision. <laughs> but I really appreciate your demeanor. You're really enjoying it, even though you are putting in your work. Clearly, it doesn't seem like every time I talk to you, you put me to shame. You're doing your research. <laughs> you know who's come out of these schools. So, like I said, clearly you're going to make a good decision. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Jarnell, looking forward to big things from you.